Hey everybody, this is Ryan on behalf of the Tech for All, and today I'm going to show you how to put graffiti on the side of a building or billboard. So I'm going to have both these images in the video description below. So you're going to grab the graffiti image, open both of them up in Photoshop, separate, separate projects, okay? And we're going to drag it over and do our main image here, the billboard or the building. Once you have that, I'm going to enlarge it a little bit. Oops, it's too big. I'll just keep it like this. And we're going to go to edit, free transform. This is going to let us tilt our image. We're going to want to tilt our image to a decent size here to where it fits pretty much the white, covers all the white of the billboard or where you want your image to be on a building. All right, once we have it, we're going to hit enter. Okay. And then we're going to go over here on our side panel. We're going to lower the opacity. Depending on your image, uh, depends on the opacity percent lower. So we're I'm at opacity 27, and that's pretty good. Okay, make sure your um, background layer is on the bottom. That should be automatically because it's locked. So now we're gonna go over here, and you're gonna have your lasso tool. So you're gonna go ahead and right click on polygonal lasso tool. Okay, you're gonna click on the borders of the billboard. Oops. Uh, hold on one second. All right, so you're gonna click on the corners, and you're just gonna go around your billboard or the area you want your image to be. All right, and you can tell it's connected by the little circle there. All right, so once you got that, you're gonna go to um, select inverse and hit delete on your keyboard. Gotta select the layer and then hit delete. Now that you have that deleted, we can go ahead and deselect everything. Layer. Apologize about that. Gotta select, deselect. Okay, now that you have that, we can go ahead and boost our opacity so we can see our full image. Okay, now you may say that looks pretty good. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into fine tuning this. I'm going to go to adjustments and brightness and contrast. This is on the background. So I'm going to look at more like a darker, darker area. Hit OK. Now our layer still to our, um, our background, I should say, our layer one is still way too, um, I think it's way too dark. Oops. Way too dark for our um, image here. So I'm going to do a drop shadow to give it that kind of look down here, as you can see. Because the little covers up the edges. Um, you can do an inner shadow glow if you'd like. Can I put it a little dark? Looks like it's on the border here, like the billboard sticking out. You can do an inner glow and make sure it's a dark color here. Pick one of these. It's up to you. I don't really need this in this image. And there it looks pretty good. Now, if you want to make it more look like it's painted on, we can go ahead and hit Command plus key on your keyboard. And you can go over here to your Erase tool. Go to the Erase one. And you can um, make the pa opacity a little lower and the flow a little lower. And to change your brush size. And your brush style. Make it a little bit really low. And you can go clicking in this, the corners here or down below. You really can't see much, so we can go ahead and boost the flow. As you can see now, it's coming a little bit lighter. That actually looks like it was painted on now because it's showing a little bit of the background. See, like that, you can do that too. Oops. All 
I mean, it depends all again on your image and how, how it looks on your background, on your billboard. So there it is, guys. That's how to make a image look like, or put an image, I'm sorry, put an image on a billboard or building. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe to all my videos. I'm trying to become a YouTube partner. I know I don't have a lot of videos, but I'm working on it. 